on everybody what's going on uh i got something different today mm. never knew i could do that with my hands huh look at that okay anyway i got something different today so i discovered some things about playing ats on my oculus so i'm always trying to get the best visual quality and the sm most smoothness i can get right and i was looking at this video of this guy you know that the new primax i think it's called primax the uh, vr headset that is freaking amazing right now this vr headset it starts at like 3840 by 3840 or something like that the horizontal and the vertical right and, you know, of course, the Oculus is, starts at like 38 and then for the horizontal and and the vertical, I believe, starts at like 19 or something. And that's if you are on a pretty good PC. <laughs> but it goes up. You can adjust that much higher. So I never could get it past like 44 uh, horizontal and maybe 21 maybe 21 or 19 uh vertical right because it started to get shaky in the game and blah blah this and that because i don't have a ten thousand dollar pc but i do have a high-end oculus and since i record my visuals mostly on my oculus uh i wish i could record it on obs more but um i recorded mostly on my oculus and i'm going to try obs recording as well but for now I uh I was looking at his video and I was like, oh man, wait a minute. So the video shows his scaling at 100. And I was like, oh, that should look terrible. But it didn't. It didn't. And he went through his Primax settings and his Primax settings was raised. So I'm thinking, well, you know what? That makes sense because all the visuals are coming through the Oculus. It's not coming through my PC. It's not coming through my monitor. So why does the scaling have to be so high? If my computer isn't doing most of the work, my Oculus has better vision. And that's what I'm using to see through. Why not make it, you know, as high as I can? So I bumped my Oculus all the way up. I even bumped the refresh rate, which usually the refresh rate I couldn't bump up. Now, I cannot use virtual desktop anymore. For some reason, my computer does not use it anymore. It crashes every time. For those of you who can use it, and if you try this trick, hey, man, it might be incredible in VR. In VR. Now, we're not talking about flat. Flat looks great because it's uh rendered differently and it looks it just looks differently it's rendered differently so flat looks great uh it looks sharper all the time you know so it'll even look even sharper because i was looking at this guy's video and i'm like no that's not a real video that got to be real life driving this guy is playing this is not he's saying it's ets but it's not ETS, but it actually was ETS. And he may have a primer headset. I don't know. I may have to buy one of them. I don't know if I have to, if it can record on there, but I may have to buy one of them. But until then, I got my Oculus. So I just want to show y'all some stuff. I just want to go through. Where's my other, my other, uh, okay, there I go. I just want to show y'all some stuff. I never noticed that it was on there. I got a choice. This battery, look at that. Okay, so before it goes dead, let's jump into the actual game. All right, so we're going to jump into Euro Truck Simulator. But first, let me show y'all what it is on. I got to show y'all this so y'all could y'all can know. I'm not joking. Yeah, I know my, my controller battery is low. Look at this. I got it all the way up as high as it could go. It still does not match the vertical. Still does not match Primax or Primax, whatever it's called, that other headset. It still does not match that because it this number starts at 38. This number starts at 38 
on Primax, on the newer one. Uh, I think the older one starts at 29 or something like that. But still, I'm just now getting there on my Oculus and it's pushed all the way up. I'm at 90 hertz. This is where I'm at. No joke. So watch this. We're going to go into into game. I just want you to see this now. Um, where's my steam at? Okay. Library. Go to Euro Truck Simulator. Now, I've been I, I usually start here, but I've been opening it with this DirectX 11. Why? Well, I downloaded this other thing, uh, this snowy mountain or something. I saw that too. I don't think it improved anything. My game looked the same before, so. But it said it did. I don't think it did. But right away, I noticed something. Everything looks incredibly sharper. Now that I got that pushed all the way up. I mean, incredibly sharper, right? Like those words I used to couldn't read. Now I can read them. Okay, so we go in the game. I hope you guys can see this because I don't know why they put this at a slant down here in VR. That hurts my neck. I don't know why it's down there. But I have 41 active mods, you know, and the mods ain't gone. But let me show you my options. Let me show you what, what my gameplay is on. And, of course, you know, this only affects the monitor, most of it anyway. Uh, I don't have vertical sync on. Don't need it. Uh, the, but the scaling, look at that, 100. 100 i got anti-aliasing on taa which i usually have it on both i was messing around with it just playing around seeing what you know it could work with adaptive clarity which i could have it on sharp probably i don't know i haven't tried moving that but 200 luminous sharpening just turned it up i don't know what none of this i'm not a uh, a person who knows this these what these do but i just like to keep playing around with them to see what i can do you know all of this as you can see except for the shadow quality now why uh i don't know shadows just don't between medium and high it don't seem like it do much much of a difference for shadows i don't care about how far the shadows go i really don't i mean you can see it it'll put it all the way down there eh whatever Interior shadows is important to me. That immersion, that's important to me. And this, I disabled that because I don't even understand what it's doing anyway. Something about soft shadows are up under. I don't know. I don't even know what, what it's doing anyway. Light visibility range, I did want that on high because I like to be able to see lights in the distance. Traffic headlights and secondary lights, like the brake lights and stuff, I wanted all that on. Um, Depth of field does not matter in VR. You're, you have a normal depth of field, so it does not matter in VR. Sun shafts, I did like that. Although I might turn that off one day, I don't know. Vegetation, all that is high, blah, blah, blah. Now, normally I have the grass low because I don't care about what the grass look like on the side. Really, I'm not really looking at it, but I'll leave it up. All right, so all that is like it is. Let's start a game. I'm going to show y'all something. Something that I thought was amazingly crazy. And I hate that every time I talk, it moves the Oculus so much to where the screen is jumping. And it's not the screen jumping. It's me talking. As you see, if I hold still, it don't do that. Look at the clarity of this game now this is a screenshot of course you know a, a cut scene so it looks kind of good anyway but remember i'm in vr vr handles differently than flat right and we're just going to go in and, and do a little driving i stopped at this little cafe it was raining is it still raining yeah it's still kind of raining but i want y'all to look at this look at the clarity look at the precision i got my little pups laying out i usually have my co-driver over there and i may put her back in there i bought this truck because i am in love with the volvo now on here though i'm in love so much i actually looked up the real world 
company to see these Volvos, see if this was just in game or what. But no, this these Volvos are nice. Uh, and uh, they're more automatic than any other thing. So uh, what else we got? Uh, I mean, you can see the clarity. You can see the precision. Turn it on. Yeah, because it was raining, so I had my wipers on. I probably can do without them because I turned the probability down. I wanted to test to see how the rain handled the uh, the game. Because I do have a mod on for the rain as well to make it look and come down more and blah blah this and that. So look at the look at the clarity. Look at the look at the look. Understand this is on 100 scaling. Now normally I would have had it on 300 scaling, but I'd have to turn my Oculus all the way down. Why not let the Oculus do most of the work? Now, I did hear that it may burn out quicker or something like that. I don't know. You know, I've had it for a year or has it been a year or two? Something like that. This is the Oculus 3. You know, and my other Oculus, I barely used it because I just didn't like the pancake lenses. They, I, they just didn't work for me and they made me dizzy. This game does not make me dizzy because look at that. Look at how beautiful. The truck is going fast. Let's do a little rolling. Let's get back to to where I came from. Um, these windows are so short. I guess that's why you need those side mirrors. Because you cannot see past these doggone windows. Is it like that really in these trucks? I have never been in a truck before. And I really want to try it. But look at this. Look at the beauty of it. Look. You can see the words... I know he wet. Woo, you are speeding. Okay, I don't need to get over. I'm good. Okay. Try to make it back to where I... Whoa, let me slow down because for some reason, boy, this, this water is wet. You will slide. Look at this fools. They are flying around them corners. I'm not doing all that. I don't want to slide. Slide in the number. M N NPCs don't slide. Look, coming up on these. You can see all of the the um the billboards clearly. See the words clearly. We create chemistry. I don't remember where exactly I came from. I'm going to go this way. Because I'm trying to get somewhere over there. I don't know where. But this will loop back around. And I'll go through those over there. Because I want to go to that um, that place to fix the fix the, uh, my truck anyway. And see if I could take one of these dogs out here. And put my co-worker in here. My ride or die. I call it my wife. Uh, I can't actually get my wife in the game, but I can put someone who represents her. All right. I mean, look at the clarity. I mean, you could see everything. It's just as clear. Let me see. I think I turn here. And I'm going down to that red dot down there. Now, what I really love about this is the speed and everything is on here. And this dashboard, man, when I bought this, I was like, that. Da I didn't even expect this dashboard to do what it do. I don't know if y'all saw my last videos, but this dashboard really is crazy. I'm going to go down this way. And see, right now... You know, when I look through the sides, of course, it's blurry because the rain is on the windshield. But if you look forward, when the wipers go past, it looks amazing. Amazing. Okay, so what's over here? So that go a, a place to fix it. Wait, what is that? That BMW, see how I slid? This, it, it really be wet. Now, strange, there's no, it doesn't look wet over here. And these people are just standing out in the rain, you know, but sometimes a good a good rain feels good. Okay. 
I turned off my whatchamacallit. That's what it is. That's why nothing is showing up. I got to turn that back on. All right. So this is what I got. The FH-16 780. Love it to death. Love it to death. Right. But we're not going to make it about. Let me go back out. Let me see if I need any. Yeah, I kind of thought I had hit something. 127. Good Jesus. Service recommendation. Let's do that. Godly. Okay. So I just wanted to get on here and show y'all that y'all don't have to have scaling up so high in order to get that ultimate clarity. Now, if you could go up with your scaling, it looks even better if you could go up with your scaling, though. Like, and I'm just going to show you an example. If I turn my scaling up to, say, 300, watch the clarity. It's going to look even better. But for me, it gets really janky. Look at that. It's sharper. You see the dashboard? You can see it even sharper. But see how it gets a little, little janky. A little too much. So I don't like to go. I'm not going up there. I'm keeping it at 100. And I'm just going to let. Let the. Uh, and I'm going to put this back on here. I'm going to just let the computer. The headphone set and the computer do what it do. Since my visuals are coming through here, I might as well just keep it on here, right? And as you can see, it's a little blurry. Let me turn it off. What did I have it on? TA. And I'm going to turn that back down to 1. It's a little blurry, but it's smooth. It's smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. And it looks good. Now, again, those of y'all who could run virtual desktop with this, it might even be better. Because when I was using virtual desktop, I loved the way my game looked, right? It really looked good. Can't run virtual desktop no more. I envy you guys. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to show y'all that you don't have to have your scaling all the way up for it to look good. You can leave your scaling down. And it'll still look good. Can I turn off these wipers? Let me give y'all a quick look at the outside of the truck. I put these lights on. Where they at? Not there no more. Huh. Okay. They're not there no more. That's the high beams. I don't know. I put some lights on the front of there, but they're not there anymore. That's weird. Oh, I think I took them off when I took. Oh, I took. I know what happened. I took them off when I took that other mod off. Anyway, all right, everybody, I am out. Tell me if this works for you. I want to know on different systems, on different. Leave comments down below. Put it on different systems and show me your specs of your system. I just, I'm just curious as to if this will help other people with smoothness in VR. By the way, I want to know what wheel should I buy? I need a wheel. I want a wheel. I want the wheel and the pedals and everything. Cause I just, I want a if, next level immersion. I'm going. I'm already in VR. I might as well get the wheel. Right. All right, everybody. I am out. Peace.